Good morning, friends. This is Ms. Carla, and today we're going to do a self-care and focus class. Um, if you're new to self-care, uh, there's no right or wrong way to do self-care. Um, so today, I put on my comfy clothes, and I'm going to get ready to make face masks with all of you. You should have all the ingredients for this face mask in your baggies that you picked up from the library, but if you don't, um, it contains lemon, honey, and baking soda. So go get those ingredients and come back to us. Okay, so hopefully you have all your ingredients, but just to go over them again, you need your little packet of honey, which has about a tablespoon of honey in it. Um, you need some baking soda, which yours came in a little Dixie cup like this. Um, it's about a tablespoon of baking soda, in case you're measuring at home. And you need some lemon juice, which yours also came in a little Dixie cup. So you're gonna go ahead and dump all of those things into your little bowl and stir it all up real good. to if you have long hair or hair that comes down like you know into your forehead you want to put your hair up because you don't want to get all this stuff in your hair um, and you also want to have a washcloth preferably a wet one I'm going to use mine over the sink um, you want to make sure that it's ready to go um, and have something that you really enjoy doing for about 10 minutes or so while your mask is on your face so that could be a book, you could watch a, a bit of a favorite TV show, um, but let's get, let's get applying. So let's get applying our face mask. So if you have glasses like I do, you wanna take them off. And then you can use your fingers if you have like a little some sort of way to apply it otherwise. Um, maybe you do face masks a lot. Um, so you're gonna start putting it on your face. It might feel a little tingly because of the lemon and the baking soda combo, but that's okay. Um, if you happen to be allergic to any of these products, do not put them on your face. Um, you can make another mask at home. Um, you can use the honey to mix with like oatmeal, or um, there's lots of other DIY masks online that you can make. So if you're allergic to one of these ingredients, please do not put them on your face. So I am properly applied. My hands are a little messy. So you want to just wipe up anything that you spilled. And now you let it set on your face for 10 minutes. Uh, you can do something else during this time. minutes your mask should be pretty sticky a little bit but like pretty dry to your face um, if you put like a thicker coat on your face like you put all of it on there um, you might need a few more minutes um, so if that's the case then you should pause and take that time I mean you can leave it on your face for a little while longer anyway so if your show is continuing and you want to see what happens totally do that um, but you're going to get your washcloth, or in your kits, I gave you a little circle face wash pad. You can um, put some water on that and scrub the mask off your face. So now that we 
have done our self-care for our outsides, we're also going to do a little bit of self-care for our insides. So if you've never done yoga or any sort of like deep breathing, um, they're really useful techniques for you if you get stressed or if you get upset, if something's happening at like when you're at school or at home, maybe you got into a fight with your brother or sister or you maybe didn't do so good on an assignment for school or you're just feeling kind of down or sad and you don't really know why or stressed and that happens to everyone and that's okay. So we are going to um, try a couple of deep breathing exercises. Um, it's really helpful to put on some calming music. So you can go on your Spotify if you have one or YouTube if you are allowed to use that or really any type of music that makes you feel calm and you feel like good about it and you put that on in the background. Um, there's a lot of really great YouTube videos for kids that have full yoga practices which is like the whole like um, moving into different shapes to make it, to stretch out your body. Um, but if you don't want to go through a whole yoga practice which is understandable, um, we're going to do some deep breathing. I'm going to show you a couple of yoga positions that you can use at home if you want and then we will depart our video together um, and hopefully you will be more relaxed and have a better sense of self-care. So you want to take some deep breaths so it helps sometimes to count out loud. So you close your eyes, you sit in your favorite place, it could be your bedroom, or your living room or wherever you want and you start breathing in one two three four five hold it one two three four five breathe out one two three four five six seven you want to make sure your lungs feel like they're totally empty, like you let all the air out of the balloon, okay? So you can be like, <gasps> decide to take make sure that it makes you feel good and always do some deep breathing before or after anything that you think is going to be hard or stressful let me practice our deep breathing you can come down to the floor um pardon my my cats they really love yoga um they get very excited when i take out my yoga mat so if you don't have a yoga mat Really fine. Um, you're just going to get out a blanket or you can practice on a rug. Um, if you don't, if you have like hardwood floors and not a rug, um, just put down a blanket or really anything um, that you find cushiony so that you can practice and you're not uncomfortable. <laughs> Um, there's lots of different options. 